This is the Aeneid lines 494 through 504. In this section, Aeneas meets Dido for the first time in the Temple of Juno, as shown behind. Hygdum Dardinio Aeneae Miranda Viren Viderentor. While these wonderful sights are seen by Trojan Aeneas, and this the wonderful sights are um the decorated walls of the Temple of Juno because it shows it depicts the Trojan War and it doesn't depict um the Trojans as evil people and they're just really happy to see themselves there as like civilized people it shows their war and it's important that it's depicting Aeneas as Trojan because it shows us why it, this um, mural means a lot to Aeneas so while he stood agape he is stuck in one gaze he tarries there Queen Dido, with most beautiful in form, proceeds majestically, or strode majestically, to the temple with a huge crowd of youths thronging her. Qualis in Eurota, Mepis, out per Yuga, Cynthi, Cynthi, Exerket Diana, Koros. And the word Qualis inspires this simile that um, was used by Homer when he describes Odysseus seeing Nausicaa for the first time. And really, it's relating Dido to um, Diana, the goddess of the hunt. So, such as Diana trains for chorus choruses on the banks of Eurota or along the mountain ridges of Kynthos. Quamile secutai hink atque hink glamorantor horedais. Having followed whom a thousand mountain nymphs gathering gather about on both sides, or like on this side and on that side, but it really means on both sides. Ila faritum fert umero gradiensque deas supereminet omnes. Latone tacitum per tempant gaudia pectus. She carries a quiver on her shoulder and she towers over the other goddesses as she proceeds. And then here we have and joys overtake the silent chest of Latona who is um, the mother of Apollo and Diana. And this like silent chest means she's so happy she can't speak. Talus erat dido, talam se laita ferebat permedios instans operi 
Rigney Square for Tories. Such was Dido. And then the next part doesn't really make that much sense in the how it like actually says in Latin. So she happy carried such self amongst them. Um, but really that's gonna mean such was Dido, so she carried herself joyfully amongst them. And then furthering the work and her future kingdom. Thanks for watching. Oh, also just going back here um, to the first slide. Um, Pokerima and form po forma is an ablative of respect with Pokerima. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.